Hello and welcome back to my channel or if you're new then my name is Grace and today I am going to be sharing with you how I organise our Marks and Spencers Hastings Ivory changing table. Bit of a random one but I'm a sucker for some good organisation and I think I've got this changing table down to a pretty fine art now. I am a new mum so it was a bit of trial and error to begin with but when, especially when you're a new parent, having your changing table in a good organised manner really, really helps. So hopefully you'll find that this video useful. Even if you don't have this piece of furniture, I think you could apply a lot of the principles that I talk about within the video to your own changing table. If you're a mum-to-be and you've not decided on a changing unit, one like this, Hastings Ivory, Marks and Spencer's one, I would definitely recommend. Um, but without further ado, let's get into how I organise this piece of furniture. Okay, so this is our baby changing table in our nursery. It is the Marks and Spencer's Hastings Ivory changing unit. It is quite basic. It's just got the two drawers at the top and the double cupboard at the bottom here, which has got two separate shelves inside it, which I will show you all in in a second. Um, but we like this. We've got this furniture in our bedroom and we've also got the matching cot. And once you're done with it being a changing unit, you can take the top of it off so that it is still a bit of furniture in your nursery. I'm not sure if all changing units do that, but um, this one does. So that was another reason why we got it, because the um, cot that we've got also turns into a child's bed as well. So we can keep all this furniture for many years, hopefully, because it is quite durable. And um, it's nice and neutral. We didn't know what we were having. If you're new to this channel, um, our little boy was a surprise this May. And yeah, we've been getting on really, really well with it. So I thought I would just show you how we use and organise the Marks and Spencer's Hastings Ivory changing unit. If you like this sort of organisation setup that I've got, I'm sure you can apply it to your own one. So, okay, let's have a look inside the changing unit and I'm going to talk you through um, sort of the way we use this. Just quickly on the top here, we have got a changing mat from John Lewis. It's perfectly sized for this piece of furniture which you can see and it's nice and cushioned and just very neutral. Um, we did find though that because it was white and with babies there's a lot of accidents, we did start putting down just like a cotton flannel on the top here, um, which is the perfect colour. If you've had children or you're about to have children, this mustard yellow is perfect for lots of accidents um, which are very likely to happen. And we were just finding, because we've got a little boy, sort of every time we were taking his nappy off, he was weeing quite a lot. With these plastic changing mats, although they're great because they're easily, you know, you can clean them easily. And um, when he was weeing all the time, it was just sort of going all over his back and it was just a bit of a mess. So um, at least if he wees on the flannel, it doesn't sort of make him so saturated. And then you can just clean up underneath the flannel as well. So yeah, that is just what we do. It's not for everyone, um, but we find that it works really well. And then this little pot on the side here, we are still using um, warm water and cotton pads to change his bottom because we were just finding his skin was very sensitive. It was getting really sort of nappy rash with the baby wipes. And just for the time being, while we're at home, um, we just keep this pot of water here and water and cotton wool works the best for our son. Yeah, this is sort of the top of our changing unit and this has been working well for us. However, I would say that one thing that I have learned since having a baby is that your routine sort of does change all the time. So, I mean, this might change for us, you know, a few months down the line, but this is just what's been working for us for the past couple of months, really. Moving on to the drawers. There are these two fairly average size drawers on the top here and the way that we use them is the drawer on the left here is where we have all of the nappy changing essentials and then the drawer on the right are sort of like the clothes that we just want to grab you know if there's an accident and we need to just put them in a little bodysuit and then the actual changing bits are in the left which I will show you now. So this is our actual nappy changing drawer. We have got the most important things right at the front which are the nappies here. He's currently in a size 3 and then at the behind that um, I do keep some baby wipes because you never know if you just want to quickly wipe something up with a baby wipe. They're always good to have at hand but we don't use them to actually change his nappy with and stuff at the moment. And then we have the nappy sacks behind and I like, although it doesn't look very tidy, I like to keep sort of like a bunch of them that are sort of 
quick and easy to get because you know sometimes you just need a nappy sack really quickly and if you've ever had to try and get a nappy sack out of a packet like this sometimes you get none or you get about 50 at once so I just sort of scrunch a load of them up like this so that it's much easier to pick one up as you can see and um, it doesn't look the tidiest but it's practical and it's what works for us and then on the right we have got a huge tub of pseudo cream um, just because we find that this works and um, what I'll do is when I'm changing him I'll pop him at the top here and then I'll just like open the lid because sometimes you just need it to be open ready um, I'll leave it in like this with the lid open just pop the lid sort of like there or something and then you can pop a bit on your finger and you're good to go so yeah I keep the sort of most grabbed things at the front and as I was just saying because we do use the cotton wool cotton pads and water I actually keep our cotton pads in this Emma Bridgewater mummy mug I find it quite a nice little way to organize it and I always keep that stocked up and then actually we just keep his little um, Tommy Tippy fingernail scissors in there as well because it's all sort of just, they slot in nicely. So yeah, that is, um, these things here are definitely the most grabbed, like the nappy, the nappy sacks, cotton pads and the pseudo cream. And then at the back of the drawer, um, I have actually got some folded kitchen roll because if we know that there's going to be a particularly messy nappy we'll also pop a little bit of kitchen towel on top of the flannel just to catch any nasty things if we can because <laughs> um, you never know with a baby then he's got his little Tommy Tippy comb and brush set at the back and then the remaining packet of cotton pads just in case I need to stock up quickly and so yeah this is basically our top drawer I, oh, and also I do keep a little um, spare bib because um, my son is a bit of a sicky baby and sometimes if I need to change his nappy after he's recently had a feed and um, sometimes when you lay him down then he'll be sick because I don't want to keep like a full muslin in here because obviously they're a bit bigger so yeah this is the top most important drawer I keep this stocked up daily I always make sure that I'm not running low sort of like it's part of my morning routine to just check that this drawer here is fully stocked up um, and I do keep all of the spare stock for it in the cupboard below at the moment which I'll show you in a minute yeah so that's drawer number one and then in drawer number two as I mentioned before this is just where we keep all of Elliot's like body suits and um, just sort of quick clothes to change him into if there's been an accident on the top and you know we need to change him into something or yeah this is just at the minute where I'm keeping his body suits like I said at the start of the video I know that this will probably change over time um, I'm aware that I'm not going to keep it like this but this is what's been working for us another thing I will mention is that eventually I would like to start using reusable nappies so obviously the changing setup will change again but this is what we've been doing while he's a newborn while we've been getting in the swing of things just the sort of quick outfit change drawer i like to think of it as this is how i organize the double cupboard at the bottom here as you can see it opens up and it's all sort of like on one shelf which is really good it's not like two separate cupboards I much prefer it this way because you can fit a lot more in and just as a quick disclaimer I know that this might look like really heavily stocked up to some people and um, to others this might seem normal but what with everything that was going on at the start of the year um, you know shopping online shopping delivery slots weren't that readily available um, so we were sort of just like stocking up when we could just in case because I am a new mum and it was really unimaginable thinking that I might not be able to get hold of nappies or baby wipes stuff like that you know things were just flying off the shelves and you know it does make you go into panic mode so we stocked up more than we needed to just in case there was any more issues with getting hold of things which I think as a new parent is probably the most sensible thing to do because I personally would rather have more than enough than not enough if that makes sense so please don't judge you know if you think this looks like a hell of a lot of things I am aware that it probably is more than we need but um, you know 
it's just the way that things were this year. On the left here I've got some nappy sacks, then behind I've got a supply of baby wipes which although I did just say I'm not using I'm always going to need baby wipes and because they're not been opened you know they're still sealed these will last for when I need to use them basically and you're always going to need baby wipes with kids so these will last ages and um, I'm glad that I've just got them I don't need to worry now about trying to get hold of stuff you know I've got a really good supply that will see me through um, should there be any more problems and then at the front here I've got a little air freshener the Airwick Pure um, for any bad smells and then I also keep a bottle of Zaflora in this Method Sunny Citrus bottle which does go with the colour scheme of the nursery which is another reason I keep it in here but I just find having a bottle of disinfectant and a cloth ready to go in the changing unit has been so helpful because I do like to keep this area as clean as possible especially at the minute you know I like to wipe the changing mat down um, throughout the day and give it a good clean down every morning and having this in the cupboard is just so much more practical than trying to scramble around finding the disinfectant or going downstairs and it's also really important to keep a separate cloth these separate jobs basically so I also keep a spare microfiber cloth and a spare minky pad and I just switch between what I want to use yeah that's been really really helpful I would definitely recommend keeping a bottle of disinfectant and a cloth in your changing unit because accidents happen a lot and it's an area that you do need to keep as clean as possible so then behind the florist I've got a supply of the cotton pads that we're using to change Elliot's bum with um, I just find that having all this stock underneath my drawers is really really helpful I organize it like this because you know when I come to stock the drawer up each morning it's really quick to grab um, I can see exactly what I need I can just get hold of it pop it in the drawer and stock the drawer up from there um, and it works really well for me just being able to see it all really we don't have a massive supply of nappies at the moment I'm due my online Tesco shop in the morning um, so I would normally have um, a packet of nappies in here as well. What I like to do is I have a packet of spare nappies usually and then I open a packet and keep them all out so that I can just grab them. They're out of the packet and I can stock them up in my drawer at the top. Then at the front I just have a little small curver grey box which has got spare bibs and socks and things that I don't really know where to put them but things that you kind of want to grab quickly. Then moving on to the bottom shelf, I've got some more of the curver boxes. They're the next size up from the one on the top. And basically on the box in the left here are all of Elliot's outfits that currently fit him, that they're, you know, they're a bit smarter than just like a bodysuit and stuff like that. So they're his sort of current outfits for the day. And then on the other box is all of the outfits that are currently too big for him. I've got a little row of his bath toys just because I don't really know where else to keep them and I also keep his sort of bath time bits on this shelf too. But you can see here we've got the Aveeno Baby Calming Comfort and I keep these out at the front because we grab these quite regularly and also these nice little sponges here. Then to the right again, I've just got another separate plastic box with all of Elliot's medicine in. So this has got like his cow pole, um, a spare box of Infocol, um, a toothbrush that the health visitor gave us and toothpaste. Um, so yeah, just lots of kind of... Um, medical bits in there yeah this is just how we organize our baby changing unit um it works really well i like the way it looks it's nice and tidy um so yeah hopefully you've enjoyed a little look into how i organize our baby changing unit for a under three month old baby okay so i think i have gone through everything um hopefully you've found this video helpful if you are expecting or you're a new mum like myself and you're looking for a little bit of inspiration on how to organize your changing table so it's in a bit more of an orderly fashion if you enjoyed this video i would love it if you hit the subscribe button for more content like this thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again soon bye